What's up, Social Child fam? We are back with another episode. As you see behind us, we have the Lucky Luke Brew Pub. You're already familiar with their beers, but we're gonna take you inside the kitchen, all the awesome food. Obviously, we're gonna be trying some goodies out there. Let's go back, let's take a look, talk to the owners, find out the inspiration behind the Brew Pub and how we can continue to support them. All right, guys, let's take a look. We have Samantha and Brian Schmitz from Lucky Luke. Well, we're finally open. Finally open. How does it feel? Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, it feels so good. It yeah. feels so good yeah. to have life inside again. It feels so good. Our staff has been very resilient with all of the changes that we've had to make. And so a huge shout out to them because really we couldn't have done this without our amazing team. Um, and we couldn't have done it without the community support either. So yeah. Yeah. Now, uh, how long has this uh, pub been open? We just hit two years. Two years. Mm -hmm. Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah. Lucky Luke started as a brewery in Palm Mill, mm -hmm. and, and we operate that as well, uh, over off Avenue O behind, uh, right off of 10th Street West. And so we started Lucky Luke brewing there as a brewery and tasting room only. Um, and then the opportunity came around to open up a restaurant and it just kind of, it just really fit. So we decided to just go, go all in and here we are and wouldn't change a thing. So I mean, how long have you been brewing and what, what inspired you to open up, you know, your own tasting room? So I'm brewing at home, started on the stove and then built a little uh, uh, brewery in the garage. And then from there, it just, it just kept going, just snowballed. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. And uh, how long have you had the, the tasting room in Pongo? So that opened in 2015 at the end of the year. So we just celebrated last year. What's that? Our fifth? Five years. Yeah, yeah, fifth five. Year so going, going on six years. Going on six years. That's awesome. And then all the years that it takes to plan something like that. Oh, you yeah. know? So yeah. we've been pretty invested for a while now. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's great. I mean, and uh, you guys are uh, also selling, canning, distributing. Yep. We have our own canning line. It goes into a truck and I can actually take that mobile. We go can for other breweries through Southern California. We obviously oh, wow. use it for our own cans as well. And so we, we can fully stock our fridge. We can offer stuff to go. And during COVID, that was realistically what kept us going was our ability to do the best format of to go we possibly could. And so between crawlers and canning and all of our food to go, yeah, that's what really kept awesome. us going. Awesome. Oh, so you're also canning for other, uh, other breweries. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. awesome, man. Yeah. Helping them out too. Yeah. It's, that's it's, great. you know, the craft beer community really is a community. And so we try to help out as much yeah. as we can. So, yeah. Yeah. And what a hard predicament the 2020 was with these breweries being shut down completely with no way of getting beers in people's hands. Yeah. If that if that was your main source, just in-house tap room sales, you know, That's so true. it was difficult for for our, our industry as a whole. Yeah, all the bars and restaurants shut down. So not only were we shut down, but all of our our wholesale customers were also shut down, with the exception of liquor stores and bottle shops. So the ability to help some breweries who had not prior been able to put their beer in cans was was a big benefit to them as well. Yeah, yeah, no, that's awesome. Love what you guys are doing, uh, but we're here for the kitchen. That's and it. but of course uh, we're also going to come back and talk about you know talk about your beers and <laughs> i'll be talking to you about that so well Sounds what's good. what's a good meal without a good beer right <laughs> right i mean come on you know pretzel and beer i mean match so, made in heaven and wings you know when now do you still have wing wednesday oh yeah yeah okay yeah so every wednesday and what are they a dollar a, a wing? dollar a wing mm -hmm. yeah guys you can't you can't beat that you can't beat that all right well let's go back into the kitchen right. we'll talk to the chef and maybe try some goodies. Welcome to my kitchen, Vic. Yeah. I'm wow. the chef. <laughs> we uh, start in here every day at 6 a.m. That's when my baker starts. And then I have uh, prep cooks that start at 7 a.m. And we are just busy every single day getting ready for opening at 11.30 a.m. And we're open seven days a week over here. Our biggest inspiration behind the menu was good food to pair with good beer. Uh, we just wanted a, a bar food environment without, without cheap bar food. Uh, so that's why we decided to do burgers and fries and wings and basically something that everybody can enjoy that pairs perfectly with a good beer. We do um, specials throughout the week, specials for different holidays and stuff. So we do kind of keep it fresh in that regard. It's not just burgers all of the time. All right, Vic, I'm gonna make you some of our famous tachos, one of our most beloved menu items. We sell a ton of these every single week. Um, we're gonna fry up some tater tots. Put them right in there. There it is. Yes. 
And you might ask, what the heck is a tacho? Well, it's a tater tot nacho, basically is where the idea came from. So it's a tray of our perfectly fried tater tots and we're gonna cover it with our beer cheese, sprinkle it with some bacon and scallions and jalapenos. So here's our house-made beer cheese going on it. Get our scallions and our jalapenos. Beer cheese is made almost every single day. We have to, um, we just go through that much of it. It's just such a popular thing. People like to dip their fries in it. We also use the same cheese for our chili cheese fries. Um, what else goes on this? Our Pub House Burger has the beer cheese on it as well. Really? So the Pub House Burger is one of our signature burgers. It's our all Angus beef patty with the beer cheese on top and two slices of bacon and jalapenos. Um, so that's one of our, our best sellers by far. You know, we have a lot of fun with our burgers. And you know, last month we had a peanut butter and jelly burger. We do a different burger of the month every single month. So that's what keeps it kind of fresh and exciting, not only for our customers, but for our staff, just to be able to create something new and different um, to serve to our guests. So that's a lot of fun for us. These are our brand new bacon wrapped jalapenos has a mixture of smoked gouda um, that they're stuffed in and then we wrap them with a full piece of bacon and then I'm gonna drizzle it with some blueberry jam. This is our house made blueberry jam that we just drizzle on top of it because we really liked the way that the sweetness with that smoked gouda balanced out to the saltiness of the bacon. Our pretzels are definitely one of our most beloved items. Like I said, our baker starts at six o'clock in the morning just to prep these every single day for you. Uh, made from scratch daily. Uh, it's a, a great recipe that has been tried and true for us over the past two years. They just are hot out of the oven. I'm gonna put them on a tray for you. I'm going to uh, coat it with some butter and sprinkle a little bit of kosher salt on there for you. Serve it with some beer cheese as well. Voila! All right, here are our wings. Plate them up for you. Nice and hot. We go through a lot of wings. We bake off wings every single day and prep them to get ready for service. So that is something that is on our prep list every single day. All right, guys, we're back. You already saw the chef cooking up some deliciousness as you see in front of us but uh, we want to talk about beer pairings. Uh -huh. But more importantly, I want to ask you, well, what are your more uh, most popular beers that you serve on a daily basis? Well, since we're open now and the weather's warm, it's more lighter beers. So our Luke's Original is our blonde. We won a bronze medal at GABF in 2019. And since then, with a the rebrand, that thing has just gone crazy. We sold more of that beer than all the other beers combined. And we're really proud of it. Yeah. Great, great beer. Um, and we sell a lot of IPA. Obviously, we're in Southern California, so IPAs are tremendously popular. Hazy IPAs as well. So hops really dominate as far as the kind of specialty market. Yeah. And then for just your everyday casual beer drinker, uh, the blonde. All right, so uh, let's let's try some de delicious beer here. Awesome. Okay. <laughs> Vic, I know you like the wings quite a bit, so we're gonna set you up with a Luke's OG for those. I do. There you go, sir. Thank you. Get this beautiful Lucky Luke glass. I say just try them with the jalapeno poppers. Yeah, a smoked gouda and then a full slice of bacon wrapped around them, and then our house made blueberry jam. Just all nice. the time. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, a little bit of uh, salty and sweet. Yeah, and then that smokiness that you're going to get from that cheese, the filling yeah. is. Wow. All right. So, all right, guys, this is the toughest part of my job here. <laughs> Just grab this here. I know we can do handheld, but you know, we got to be fancy <laughs> a little bit here. Here we go. I'm digging in. Yeah, please dig in. Chef. Ooh. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> that is something else. The balance is really nice against the spice is very mild. The bacon mm -hmm. and the jam. Wow. Good. And at the you can just that little hint of smoked gouda. Mm -hmm. 
This is awesome stuff, Sam. Thank you. Wow. Mm. Beer pairs beautifully with it. Nice smooth maltiness. Cheers. Cheers. No bitterness. Wow. <laughs> That's your first time having that one, huh? It is. Yeah. I had to turn around. This bacon wasn't coming apart. <laughs> I'm mean, like trying to pull it apart my teeth. <laughs> that jam is, that's just a whole other world right there. You know, originally we didn't have the jam on it. Really? Uh-huh. And then we're like, yeah, it's just missing something. And our baker being who she is and having this amazing product, we're like, we're going to try it with this. And sure enough, everybody was like, okay, this is it. We yeah, have to, we yeah. have to serve it like no, this. No, I love it because <laughs> with you know the saltiness of the cheese and the bacon and then just that sweetness man that's that's gonna be i who oh. <laughs> i'm trying to shed some uh some covid weight so. <laughs> today. you guys are making it hard <laughs> now what so what do you make the beer cheese with the beer cheese has lucky look ipa in it really so okay. a little bit of that bitterness is what we were going for just so it's a, a little bit more pronounced versus what would what would it be if we just used Luke's original? Yeah, awesome. What would you recommend pairing the uh, the pretzels with? Well, I'd like to put those up against our amber ale Pittman. Um, okay. I think the hardiness of that one, without being overwhelming, would be a nice pairing on that one. The malts and the combination of malts, you get a little bit of sweetness, you get a little yeah. bit of the biscuit, the toast, uh, but nothing too like acrid, nothing really burnt, and that's why I think it would go nicely with the with the pretzel. Awesome. Everybody, please join me because I hate eating alone. <laughs> Breakfast of champions. Right? This is one of my favorite items. Go ahead, pull it off of there. Get there you go. Get in there. Go ahead, Brian, because we gotta we gotta do some dip in here. Go ahead. Yeah, it's super thick, stays on the pretzel. Yeah. It's, it's yeah. Uh, super flavorful. I like it. You pointed out the spice in there too. It's just a little spicy, but it's not anything that you would want to ever mm -hmm. I don't think anyone would ever say, oh, you know, hold the spice. The butter. You get both. Mm -hmm. Oh, jeez. <laughs> now, this is fresh out of the oven. And oh my God. <laughs> it's life changing. Oh, yeah. Really good with the cheese. So the flavor of the L, mm -hmm. the <laughs> cheese, the dough, it just, it just works. Yeah, I love it. So it's just great to see. You know, we've known you guys for a couple of years now and right. uh, watch you be a part of the community, you know, very active in the community, a lot right. of uh, community stuff that you're always uh, supporting and get behind, which is great, you know, because uh, our, our Antelope Valley is an awesome community. You know? It is, and this is our backyard. We grew up here, both of us did, mm -hmm. and, uh, and so it's important for us to give back to the community that brought us up. And so, you know, Sam's very active with the Children's Center of the Antelope Valley. You've worked with them before. Yeah. Um, president of the board, mm -hmm. right? Also president of the board for the LA Brewers Guild. And that's a big one. Um, <laughs> Thank cheers. you. Cheers. Yeah, cheers, cheers. Women power, baby. That's, that's right. right. <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah, the city's been great for us here as well, allowing us to expand on the patio uh, when outdoor dining was all that we could have. And so uh, that helped us tremendously. Yeah. Um, we were able to get the bulk of our seating back outdoors and they let us put up lights and misters and it just, it's, it's been great. Yeah. We're very, very lucky. Yeah. Well, and, and I spoke on our staff earlier and, and really all last summer, 105 degree weather and they're wearing masks and face shields and they're literally walking 20,000 steps a day yeah. because of the distance from the kitchen to the last table on the patio. Yeah. So it's been rough on them, yeah. you know, and yeah. they've done it with a smile on their face and very resilient and just kind of, they want to serve people and they want to to still be out there. And yep. so we've been very lucky well, to find staff, you like that. Lucky Luke, staff, we salute you. This is seven days a week. Awesome. And you can also upgrade your tots with your burger to be a tacho. All right, let's, let's, let's try these babies. Okay, cool. And of course I got to grab a jalapeno. House pickled. House pickled, really? Uh huh. Some of that bacon, there you go. That's good. The pickling That's helps really good. take the heat out of the jalapeno, mm -hmm. but brings out all that flavor. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
They're addicting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> There's that cheese. And what I like crunch. about the the pickling, there's still a lot of crunch in there. Yeah. yeah. You know, mm -hmm. you can still get that crunch of the jalapeno, which is nice. Yeah, they're not yeah. bush. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Super flavorful without being overwhelmingly hot. You can mm -hmm. get a whole mouthful of that, a whole bite of that jalapeno without it really lighting your mouth on fire. Yeah. And then we paired it with our a specialty uh, American Pilsner we made called Cause for Optimism. And so this is uh, on the much lighter side of what we make, but it's hopped a little bit more aggressively than a, your typical Pilsner. That's what makes it the American Pilsner. And uh, super light, refreshing. Um, got a lot of that kind of real light malt kind of backbone to it. Mm -hmm. uh, really goes up against anything nicely. I would drink this with any, any meal. There's a fascinating story behind the name Lucky Luke. Oh, okay. So my great grandfather was Luke and growing up he is very important in my life and he grew up right he was born right after the depression and so I had just tons of great stories to tell and that so I grew up spending a lot of time with him working in his you know workshop back of his house and we would build stuff and fix stuff and he taught me, you know, kind of an old world way of, of doing things, which was hard day work, you know, uh, really respect for, for blue collar work and, and and have a lot of pride in that and so when we built the brewery, I had come from an administrative position in my previous job, and so going hands-on was really reminiscent of a lot of things that he taught me. And so uh, he was—he had always said he was tremendously lucky to make it as far as he did, and, and so naming it Lucky Luke really felt appropriate, and that's how we came up that's with that. That's awesome. awesome. <laughs> Thank well, you. Uh, Grandpa. Uh, cheers. <laughs> we cheers to you, and we know you're up there smiling down and being proud of everything <laughs> that. You know, you uh, you deal with Brian and Samantha, so that, that's awesome. Okay. Ready for the wings? Oh, you already know. And now these are naked. These are naked. Right. Yep, these are naked wings. And then I brought you some sauces. I brought you a blue cheese, um, our house-made barbecue, uh, house-made honey chili garlic, and our gochujang. jing. Our gochujang jing is one of our most popular sauces. Uh, we make it in-house. This is the sauce that gets tossed for our... Um, our chicken Korean sliders. And so it's that. Another, another. Another favorite. Another one of my favorites. <laughs> Jeez. Okay. Yeah. I love the fact that you do it naked and then you just bring different sauces right. for people to try. Yeah, you know, and if an you experiment. wanted it tossed in sauce, you totally could. Any of our any of our sauces, you could get it tossed in it, um, if that's a, prefer a personal preference of yours. But we really liked just them in general, the seasoning yeah. that we use on yeah. them is a fantastic, you know, perfectly balanced seasoning, so. Yeah. Now, uh, you also toss some, uh, you say a popular item is the uh, Nashville Hot. Right? Yes, Nashville Hot is probably our most popular way that we serve the wings other than them being naked, but yeah, the Nashville Hot that we make in house as well. Awesome. Man, what don't you make in house? <laughs> uh, right? The glass, maybe the glass. Right. <laughs> we have to purchase those, unfortunately. Right? Yeah. <laughs> and uh, so, what are we pairing with the wings? So this is Desert Sun, our double IPA. Ooh. Ooh. You got to be careful with those. <laughs> That's right? right. You do. <laughs> well, this is super refreshing. It's nice and crisp, but it's got a really nice hop, like a real big, round, fruity hop profile to it. A really aromatic. I think it's going to go nicely yeah. with oh, yeah. pretty much any of those sauces. There. This is probably my favorite beer that we have on top right now. Yeah. My, my favorite beer, because people ask me that question all the time. What's your favorite? What's, What's your, your favorite? favorite? It changes. Every month or so, I have a new favorite, and it just kind of rotates in and out. Yeah. No. Well, all right. Let's dig in. Right. Now, uh, you, you're suggesting the, which one is this one the here? The gochujang. I don't think I've had this one you before. You gotta try it. Try that one. If you like spice, try that one. Okay. All right. Dip it on in there. Let's see here. Now look at that, guys. You know, I just, I love the crunchiness, the juiciness. You still have all the flavor inside there. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Yeah, not dry at all. Salud. Mmm. How do you like that spice? Oh, right <laughs> off the bat, I noticed the garlic. Oh, uh-huh. And I love, I love garlic. Uh-huh. And then chasing it down with the uh, double IPA. Should go nicely with that spice. 
Oh yeah. Yeah, the spice and the brew just really go well, go well together. One thing you did not see here is the burgers, mm -hmm. but the burgers are just as awesome. You know? Thank you. I think the burgers are probably our, our most, what we're most known for on the yeah. food side. Definitely yeah. the biggest draw to get people in and, and kind of what attracts them. And then all of the appetizers are just a bonus, I think, mm -hmm. for the most part. And last year through COVID, what we realized is that we needed not just for ourselves, but we needed also to give it to our customers, just something to look forward to. And so then that's where the idea of the burger of the month came in. Mm -hmm. So we just added that, prob I think no October or November was our first month doing that. And we just decided that we would commit to a different burger every single month and it would be a seasonal thing. So in November, we did a turkey burger that tasted like Thanksgiving dinner. We did a cranberry jam, we did a, um, a crouton on it. We did Brussels sprouts. Really? And it we just phenomenal. kind of had fun with it. Yeah. Wow. yeah. And so we've we've changed it for the seasons. That's why May is a chorizo burger. Uh, just to kind of, Brian said it tastes kind of like a taco. Yeah. Taco <laughs> it's got for sure. crunchy tortilla chips on it, a fried egg, mm -hmm. um, chorizo, and our Ingus beef patty mixed together. Mm -hmm. And so yeah, it's an opportunity for us to have something to look forward to. It's an opportunity for all of our chefs in the kitchen to be creative and create something new. Yeah. And then it gives, for our regular customers, it gives them something to look forward to that's constantly changing. Yeah. It fits your whole theme. You know, it's, you know, you're always with, just like beer, right? Uh, right. It's experimenting with different uh, ingredients. Mm -hmm. And the same goes for, for food, and especially, sure. you know, a, a brew pub. It's just experimenting with different flavors. Mm -hmm. And the ultimate test is what the community thinks about it, right? Sure. So, and it's always positive. It, Thank you. And you're always like adventurous, daring to try just new things. Sure. You know? Well, that's what keeps it fun for us. <laughs> the the jam. I, it's like, I wouldn't be surprised if weeks down the road you see other jalapeno poppers and other <laughs> with now playing with jams because this is, it's good stuff. Uh -huh. yeah. Thank you. My God. I'd like to give a shout out if I could to Absolutely. the AV restaurant support page and, mm -hmm. and the admins on that page and, and all the people involved and, and how much support we got from that. We found that Anytime we posted on that page on Facebook, it really bumped us up quite a bit. It really kept us going and we got a lot of interactions and a lot of support. And so I think the admins on that page did a fantastic job. Absolutely. We're very grateful for that. AV Restaurant Group, you're the real MVP. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers to you. Well, guys, I want to thank you for everything. Mm -hmm. The food, always delicious. Good. The beer. Uh, Samantha, your superwoman, I'm pretty sure that turns into a cape somehow. <laughs> Thank uh, you. But I love, I love everything that you guys are doing. I wish you. you the best. Thank you very much. Continued success. So thank you so much, AV Awesome, and that's a wrap. Thank you so much for watching the show, guys. Let us know what you think of Lucky Luke. If you've tried their beers, tried their food, some of your favorite things you have eaten there. And also be sure to subscribe as we are raffling off $50 and gift cards every single week to try out some of our local food. Go show love to the AV Restaurant Support Group page. Tune in next week as we'll be featuring Luempe Mexican Restaurant, who was voted AV's Best Tamales. All right, guys, we'll catch you on the next one. And thank you for making AV awesome.